Uh, my name is Connor Law, um, senior in Ethics Academy. <laughs> uh, occupation, beach bum, yeah? Uh, yeah, bum. beach bum. Used to be. Not right. my thing anymore. Okay. How would you feel if you found out that your childhood beach was littered with trash? I found out my childhood beach was littered with trash. I'd be upset, just like anybody else would be. You know, you've been going there your whole life up until now. Um, you've always wanted to have like a place that you could just go and have fun with your friends or just by yourself or whatever. Um, but yeah, if, if I found out that my childhood beach was um, littered, I would be upset just like anyone else. Who is to blame? Um, the people who, like people who go and like, like what, what are you trying to ask? So who do you think is to blame for most of the littering that happens in the ocean? In the ocean or on the beach? Both. Like everyday people or like okay. corporations? Um, honestly I think it has to do with the mix of everyday people. People who just don't care. Um, people who don't really care about their environment, about the ocean or anything. And it could also be corporations who secretly like to just dump all their waste and chemicals into the ocean and just find ways to secretly just throw trash into the ocean and all the beaches and stuff. What would you do to stop plastic from going into the ocean? Um, things that I would do to stop plastic from going into the ocean. Uh, I guess, to be honest, in my opinion, I don't really think there is a way that you could 100% stop plastic going into the ocean, but there is ways that you can um, help take away plastic going into the ocean. Uh, I seen this one video where these people would drive a boat and they had a net attached to it collecting all the trash uh, in like a small harbor. So, what have you done, if anything, to stop your oceans from getting littered with trash? So you asked me what I did to yes. help? If you have. Uh, um, things that I've done to help is do beach cleanups. Uh, I used to do a lot back when I was younger, now high school obviously takes a big role in life. Um, so yeah, I used to do a lot of beach cleanups, you know, every day too. Um, every day I could find some beach, or not even at the beach, it could be anywhere. I could just pick up uh, pieces of trash and run the floor and see it. Why do you think people litter? Uh, honestly, I think people litter just to be lazy. Uh, a lot of people don't want to walk a few steps to a trash can. They don't want to walk, you know, it's so off, so far to go and throw the trash away. They just, just laziness. I'm Jason Saragano. I'm Haku Seno. How would you feel if you found out that your childhood beach, let's say Electric Beach for example, was littered with trash? I'd feel mad, disappointed, because that's yeah. my spot that I body boy out. Yeah, uh, it would be like kind of frustrating because um, like it's a place that you've grown at, so it's hard to see it go. So. Who is to blame? Everybody. Yeah, um, everybody because like everybody can help contribute to picking it up so it could be better. What would you do to stop plastic from going into the ocean? Put them in outer space. <laughs> Put them in outer space. Um, <laughs> I just say, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what I would do. 
uh, maybe run them the bottles and uh, like make create different ways like different ways to use plastic or like don't use plastic in, uh, like water bottles and stuff. What have you done to stop our ocean and beaches from getting littered? Um, like what have what have I done here yeah. to help it? Yeah. Um, I hope pick up litter at my school. Uh, <laughs> like whenever I go beach, like we just pick up maybe like a couple things, like a handful of things, and uh, something's better than nothing. Why do you think people litter? Because they're lazy. Yep. Lazy. Uh, lack of Respect. trash. Oh, yeah. Lack of like trash cans. Trash cans. My name is David Kilborn Jr. and I like the amazing weather, the Aloha spirit, surf, food. I love, I love, there's a lot of things I like about the island. Okay, so my first question is for you is how would you feel if you found out that your childhood beach was littered with trash? I would feel bad. I wouldn't feel good. My favorite childhood beach, I've got a little bit of trash and I'm used to being nice. I would go there and try to start cleaning it up, maybe get a group together. Okay. But I'd also be mad at the people that are littering. Okay, my next question is for you. Why do you think people litter? I think people litter because they're lazy, they have a horrible attitude, they don't care about their environment. Um, just pretty much out of disrespect. Okay, so. How often do you go to the beach? I go to the beach about three to four times a week. Okay. If you had to guess, how many tons of trash do you think are in the ocean right now? The whole ocean? How yeah. many tons of trash? Thousands, hundreds of thousands, I don't know. A lot, a lot of, a lot of pounds. I would say, let's say a hundred thousand. Last yeah, ask one more. Okay, so if Hawaii's beaches got taken over with trash, what do you think would happen to Hawaii? Um, overtaken with trash? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, taken over. No, 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 no. no, no, no the means... wording wasn't wrong. It's just I'm thinking about the uh, the image. Okay. Well, I think uh, you know it wouldn't be as clean. Obviously, the air would be dirty. Make a lot more sickness. Um, I think hopefully the people would come together and clean it up, or the government would find a way to get programs in where they clean up a little better, a little more. But not too sure. Scary question. Hope it doesn't happen. <laughs>